This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Puget Sound Plastic Surgery. Welcome back, everybody. It's estimated that 80% of all women have cellulite. That means lots of us are also looking for ways to get rid of it. Now, a new procedure is making headlines as the only FDA-approved long-term solution. Please welcome one of Seattle Magazine's top doctors, the medical director from Puget Sound Plastic Surgery, Dr. Braden Stritty. Hi, how are you? Very good. Great to meet Thank you. you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so pretty much everybody has cellulite. What is it? Why do we get it? Um, cellulite is a condition of the skin and the fat layer and also of the fibrous connective tissue below the skin. So people get it because as they get older, they tend to thicken that fat layer a little bit. Yes, that happens. Um, and then, <laughs> and then um, also the skin itself thins out over time. It does. And so the fibers are a, a little bit of a network or a net that kind of pull down portions of the skin. Is that correct? Exactly. So okay. there's yeah, these little septae or uh, connections of fibrous tissue that go from the skin down to the underlying muscle. And those are always there, but they tend to shorten a little bit as you get older. And then the fat layer thickens a bit and your skin loses its elasticity. And so you get this irregularity in the surface of the skin, which we refer to as cellulite. Okay, so cellulase, this new procedure, does what to correct this? So cellulase does three things. It addresses all three components of the cellulite problem. So the first thing that it does is it thins out the fat layer and smooths out that irregularity in the fat layer. The other thing that it does is it divides those little fibrous connective tissues that go between the skin and the underlying muscle. See that, you guys? So it melts a bit of the fat and then it cuts the fibers. Mm -hmm. And so what does that result in? So, so when you melt the fat... And then fat, what's that part? Okay, so the third <laughs> part, so there's three components to the treatment. To the, the thinning and smoothing of the fat layer, right. the dividing of those septae that attach the skin and, and dimple it in, and the third part is it heats the undersurface of the skin, stimulating your skin to build new collagen. That results in thickening of the skin, and so they've done studies to measure that, and your skin thickness increases by up to 25%. And it also increases the elasticity of your skin by up to 40%. Got it. Okay. Well, obviously, looking at that, you can see why the creams and the things that we've been buying in the past wouldn't work because there's no way they would get to They're all of that under your skin. They're not addressing the underlying, right. you know. So what I read was that the FDA, the, the study that the FDA based their approval on followed women for a year and found that they had this improvement that lasted at least that year. Could be longer, but they followed them for at least that long. That's true. In fact, this, the original studies were done over three years ago, so now we're starting to see the three-year results right. from those original studies, which look as good as the one-year results. That is pretty fantastic because we don't, you know, obviously we'd love to have a solution that lasts for a while. So do you guys want to see some befores and afters? This is my favorite part of any section okay. like this that yeah. we do. I just love the idea. So let's take a look. So obviously so left before. And yeah, and so you can see, I, most people would agree that there's a significant improvement yes. in the quality of that person's skin. And this is a real durable result. And so you, it takes a little while to see the results, so you're not going to see the full um, change in the skin until about th at least three months after the procedure. Okay. But when, actually, if you look very carefully at before and after pictures, six-month results tend to look better than three-month results, and the one-year results even look a little bit better than the three month so results. So the improvement continues. Now look at this, this is really, obviously it's not like absolutely gone, but that is so improved, it's crazy. Right, uh, you're not gonna see complete perfection on every single person, but there's clearly a significant improvement. Right, now there are in this procedure <clears throat> little um, incisions through which you, you put the, yes. the instrument? So. This is the laser fiber that carries the laser beam okay. that, that does the treatment. And so you have to make a very small incision, which is about a quarter inch long. So really tiny. Yes, very small. Yeah, so that allows you to insert this fiber underneath the skin to first thin the fat layer, mm -hmm. then to, you know, so well, this, the unique thing about this laser fiber is that the laser beam is split at a 45 degree angle. So when you're when you turn the fiber in one direction, part of the laser beam is directed downward mm -hmm. at the fat layer. Then you turn it 90 degrees, and then you use it to cut 
those fibrous septae, and right. then you turn it 90 degrees where it's pointing up at the skin, and then you're, you're lasering the undersurface of the skin, I and that's it. what heats up the skin yeah. and causes the new collagen production and thickening of the skin. So what is the recovery time in terms of when you would be presentable for the outside world? It's going to vary from person well, to person. Well, don't you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's a really good question. And, and you know, it, this is a surgical procedure. It's a minimally invasive surgical procedure, mm -hmm. but it's still surgery. And there's a little bit of recovery involved. Okay. So you're going to get some swelling. You're going to get some bruising. And the amount of, you know, how long that takes to recover is going to vary from person to person. Some people feel pretty good within a couple of days and they don't have a tremendous amount of swelling and bruising, other people are going to get a little bit more and it's going to be a few weeks before they're going to feel comfortable you know, walking around and Got showing it. that skin. Well, I mean, yeah. if you're going to get a result that lasts for a long time, that's not that much of an investment of time. Let's look at a couple of other mm -hmm. before and afters so we can see in this patient also really significant improvement. Wow. And so what, what amazes me is that this lasts, and I can see why if you're cutting those fibers. Let's take a look at the next photo and see what else we can enjoy. That's the last one? Okay. So in terms of cost, what are we looking at? So um, treating a small area initially will cost about $3,000. Uh, some people have more area to cover, and so the cost is going to go up you know, according to the size of the area. Right. So it could be up to twice as much as that amount for larger areas. Depending on, but you can come in and check it out. And the weird thing about cellulite to me is that you can work out, you can be at your goal mm -hmm. weight, your BMI can be right on the whole thing, yeah. and you still It's very have frustrating for a lot of women. They take good care of themselves, they exercise regularly, they eat healthy, they're not overweight, and they still have cellulite. And so it's very frustrating for them. So this is a solution for their problem. That is exciting news. In fact, uh -huh. that may be the best news I've heard in a long time. Um, thank you so much. I love that you thank stopped you by much. and Thanks explained that to us so we can see uh -huh. it. And congratulations on being one of the top docs as well. Thank you. So please visit our website for more information on cellulase and for a link to Puget Sound Plastic Surgery. Up next, the dog food dude cooks up some healthy cuisine that's sure to please your pup's taste buds and your wallet. We'll be right back with that.